All right, let's go to questions right now. Guys, thank you for all the greetings. Okay, so Sean Jogardi says, will this new grip fit in standard clip or sleeve? Yes, it will. We had a big boss, which actually is designed to fit even up to an EXO. So um, if anything, you know, just try to get, don't get the super skinny one for machines that are 25 millimeter, one inch, you know, you gotta, you gotta use the one that's fatter. And, uh, you know, we have a big boss that we actually configure to fit everything that we create. Even, um, you can go even with, I believe, uh, 50 millimeters, if I'm not mistaken, it's just pretty big. Another question. Uh, Rhode Island Tattoo Co, when the disposable grip? I knew that you guys were gonna be asking for that. The disposable grip is right here, finally here. Here's the box, I'll show it again. So I know that you guys wanted to have this possible disposable options and we heard you, loud and clear. Plenty of them, they're gonna be dropping soon on the website, guys. So we're sorting them out, uh, stocking them in and, and they're gonna be on the website. now. Uh, this is a great question. Is the grip backwards compatible with the EXO? Why not? Let's actually do a test right here. So we have an EXO right here, because I just removed the grip, and we have the MAX. So we're gonna do the Frankenstein. And now you have an EXO MAX. There you go. Cross compatible, you know, full adjustability. The ratcheting system is also um, compatible. That answers that question. And of course, it's also cross compatible with the Flux. And that's the reason why, guys, I was showing you before that the body, we actually have to make some modifications to suit the longer stroke that this machine is going to have. So, uh, you know, you have the full adjustability that you're used to. Okay, so black and gray and line work. Okay, great, great, uh, great questions right there. Um, I think, I mean, obviously, as always, you know, answers are subjective. You know, everyone seems to like different things. But for black and gray, I think you cannot go wrong with a 3.2 millimeter, you know, especially because once you enable uh, the e-give, uh, you are going to get super, super soft result. Now, one of our pro team, NM, actually, the guys told me that she was using EGA full blast throughout the whole Canada show, the Knicks show in Toronto. 3.2, and that's actually the one that she is using right now, is the 3.2. Uh, for line work, it all depends what you do. I mean, I think that if you're gonna be writing very bold lines and you blast 11 rounds, you know, nine and up, all that stuff, probably you're gonna take advantage of the 4.5 uh, millimeter stroke, you know, then from there it's gonna be a matter of you choosing the speed that suits you the best based on your client's skin, you know, how hard and all that stuff. If you wanna get a machine that's gonna be good for everything, I say get the four millimeters, um, but I mean, the choices are yours, guys. 3.5 millimeter stroke. Well, we have the 3.2, we're talking about 0.3 millimeters. Uh, we could do it, the difference is that it wouldn't make sense for us to make both because there is not a physical difference, you know. I think the difference starts when it's more than uh, 0.5 millimeters, you know. That's when you really, um, you know, take advantage of the additional reach. Uh, Cage uh, Levy says, when are the orders shipping? I'm dying to get mine. Orders are shipping daily, guys. We got thousands of orders, so we gotta prepare them, pack them, and ship them, so please bear with us, but we are shipping, okay? We are currently shipping. So question is, when are we gonna be selling the Powerball 2.0 separately? Um, it is going to be once we are cut up with all the orders, once all distributors have the machine, because right now, you know, we have to prioritize the main purpose, you know, which is just to uh, put the machines, the complete machine bundle. But I'm assuming that it could happen maybe end of the year, could happen next year. As you guys know, there is a little bit of a constraint with some components, so we gotta be really mindful, uh, you know, where we wanna allocate this component. So the question is, will this machine hit harder? Well, uh, we heard that this machine, some, we, we've heard random comments about our product. Some people say that the Flux hits soft. Some people say that the Flux hits hard. So to compute a straight answer, you know, I think that everything has to do with the way that everyone tattoos, what, ev what everyone considers, you know, hard hitting. Um, you know, if you have a heavy hand, probably, um, you know, you could hit hard with a machine that's soft, right? But with a 4.2 millimeter, of course, you're gonna get the utmost core per reciprocation because obviously there's more momentum, more travel, and the four, with a 4.5. So one of the reasons why, you know, we decided to, you know, give you guys a little bit more range there. What a great question. Wow, that's a great question. So someone asked, do you have to turn the machine on 
or off when you have the EGIV when you put a new um, cartridge? The answer is going to be yes. You do have to turn the machine off if you're using the EGIV. Why? Because of the sensing feature that I mentioned before. So, um, so the machine is off right now and I turn it on, sensing and boom. The only way that the machine can know the cartridge that you're putting is, um, is by turning the machine off. Because if I remove it, the machine is reading, you know, read once the cartridge that I'm putting, but I could put another cartridge from another brand so the machine wouldn't know what to do. That's the reason why, you know, just a small tap, pop the new cartridge, turn it back on, sensing, and boom, you're in game. So yeah, you're gonna have to do that if you're gonna be using the give. As of right now, we're trying to stock up these colors and get them, you know, so far we have a lot of machines in stock. We usually introduce new colors, you know, once, you know, the waters have come a little bit and then we have time to say, okay, let's think about that. But potentially next year, we're gonna have some new colors. The motor is the same motor as the one that we had before, which is the nine watt motor. It's a German motor. And um, what gives you the additional strike is going to be the 4.5. So in terms of performance, um, you know, you should expect the same performance. Um, I mean, in my opinion, the motor hits really hard and that's the way I like machines to hit because then it's just a matter of hand control, right? So we're using the same one. I hope you had enjoyed this overview of this machine. We have it in yellow, we have it in black. We also have the full compatibility with a kill switch. And as always, you can buy this at fkenners.com, go to darklab.com or go to any of our official distributors. Take care.